What's going on guys, SHOT Show 2023 here at the Zev booth with Dan. I haven't seen Dan in three years and I forced him to be on camera, so everybody say hi to Dan. <laughs> What's up? So he told me, hey man, you gotta come over to the Zev booth, you have to check out, we have V2 of one of my favorite guns, the OZ9, do take it away. So this year we're launching the OZ9 V2. Uh, what's We have updated internals that are more durable, cleaner, crisper brakes in the trigger. Uh, the very cool thing about it is that it's built on an updated OZ9C platform. So you'll notice that we have 34 link slides, 17 link slides, 19 link slides, threaded or unthreaded options. Get an updated cut. Uh, some of the guns that have less ports, like on the 34, will have updated channeling on the front for like glare resistance, nice. stuff like that. If you buy an OZ9 V2, because it's built on the compact chassis, you can turn it into six different guns by changing two sizes of grip, three sizes of slides. So I'm seeing like modularity is kind of like the it's thing. the name of the yeah. game, absolutely. And I'm digging the front like fang cut thing. Like yeah. that looks so clean to me. Because it's got the shorter receiver yeah. from the compact frame. It allows us to do a little, little of that, you know, Zev aesthetic. Gives it the cool, clean look on the bottom. Still have all your light mounting options. You got enough rail to like, you know, if you do want to carry it, you know, with an X300, you know, and it, it flushes real nice. It looks super clean. As and far then, as uh, compatibility, is it Gen 3, Gen 4, or Gen 5? Uh, it's a Gen 5 internal now. Dude, nice, okay. Yeah. So we, we wanted to make some, just some big changes, you know, not just aesthetic stuff, but there's legitimate performance updates on the inside. So if you want to go over here, we'll take a look at the next one. Sure. <laughs> the elusive <laughs> Magpul Zev collab. It's actually happening. Uh, Are we going to get one? Yes, you're going to get you one. You heard it. And so a lot of folks are going to buy them in the pistol format and then convert them over to the SBR format. They'll The boot will be available you know, as a separate item. Nice, okay. So you will also be able to purchase it as an SBR at some point. Uh, just navigating the waters currently you know, with how things are. Uh, it's easier for us to do it like this. Sure. It's probably easier for our customers to do it like that. Very, very excited. Very low visibility. I'm excited to see what people are going to stick it, hide it. Oh, you man, know. the videos that we're going to put out with this thing. <laughs> out of vertex bags. Yeah, out of vertex bags. <laughs> yeah. Even better, even better. So. And then on this side, we have uh, OZ9 V2 Combat. So full updated slide cuts, Gen 5 internals, uh, no windows, right? We want to keep all that environment out of there. These things are hammers out of the box. Dude, the serrations in the front, man, those like... They're deep. They're deep. You know, we, we wanted to make them so that, like, when you purchase the slide, you know, to do a manipulation, there's no chance of a slip. Gotcha. And, and other people have done knurlings, but nothing beats a bunch of good ribs. Yeah. You know? And then the last of all, this didn't get the, the update, but it's OZ9 Duty. Apparently, it is Roger's favorite trigger break. Yo, if so. you guys get one of these, best Zeb trigger in my opinion. <laughs> it's the same trigger in every gun. <laughs> So, dude, this is awesome. I'm stoked to see it. You guys all know Zeb's one of my favorites. Uh, if I'm not carrying a 1911 Hammer Fire platform, I'm running an OZ9. So, man, dude. Thanks, Thanks for coming through.